quick tip um, that I learned um, installing this ES2. Um, a couple of things I did not see on the internet was it comes with five screws, so you only need four. And this extra one, they give you an extra screw and two extra washers. Um, I've installed it, but um, now I actually do know that they give you the two extra washers because when you take it out, sometimes the washers will rip like this. And I took it out so I could take make this video. Um, when I got this board, um, some of this is kind of, um, you had to pat it all down because some of them is, uh, I think they just threw it on. And there was spaces everywhere. And that's one thing I probably advise you to do. So when you do start riding, dust and dirt won't get in there. So pat this whole thing, pat this thing down. Another thing I learned the hard way is um, when I was installing this, um, there's a, like, I'm not sure if you can see it. A little rubber band here okay there's a rubber band here and it came it, it could come loose very easily and i've you no know, before you attach this i saw this rubber band on the ground and i don't know what it was so it's a, you know it's very thin thin tiny rubber band i guess it's a seal you see it and um that's one thing another thing that's very important is um see how these wires are i'm going to try to show you here here's actually where i cut it if I ask, you see this little cut here? Okay. Focus right here. Yeah, see that little cup? It's that when I was pushing this unit in, when I was pushing it down, it fit well, but then I noticed that the, the bolts weren't going in. It wasn't snug. So it turns out that the wire here was underneath. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you take all this and stuff it inside this cap first. So try to bring as much of this wire and it's possible stuff in the cap. So when you push this in, it should feel very snug. It shouldn't feel tight like there's something something underneath it. Once it do, once it does, stop pushing because um, you might cut the wire. Um, the metal here the edges are pretty sharp, and um, I kind of almost almost I, I cut the coat the out the outer skirts of the wire, which is good. Thank God I didn't cut the wires in the side. I'm trying to focus. So it kind of messed it up here. So try to take these knot and push it into here. And I think that's my advice. Um, the other thing I have learned is that um, <clears throat> during the install, when you collapse, when you fold this, this hook is what hooks into here. And the folding part is easy, but the unfolding part is a little difficult. And um, Basically, I had to press this down to unhook it, and then it doesn't pop up like uh, you know what I saw on YouTube. So um, I had to figure that out. But the pads, make sure that you know you pat it down. Make sure nothing is underneath this rim. Make sure you stick everything up this way, and um, you have an extra screw in case you lose it. Two extra washers. I'm gonna use one because by um by unscrewing, I think I just destroyed one of the. the this. So what I did is I bought um, I have lug the the the, the lug tight whatever seal so I can use that later on. But once this is done, this is done. So when you unscrew, this will break. I think that's why they give you two extras. Alrighty, quick video. Bye.